Oh, we're recording. <clears throat> Excuse that. Just kidding. Okay, so I hope you guys aren't getting tired of me. I'm not getting tired of you guys. Um, I just wanted to share a little video on um, the cheapest little palettes that you can get just to do a neutral eye, smoky eye, whatever you want to do. Um, when I first started out doing makeup and, you know, messing with my face, you know, liking the colors that looked on my face, um, I seriously, this has been with me since I was 12. Yeah, that was like forever ago. So, yeah, this is it. And, um, I didn't know how to use it. Um, I would mess with the colors when I was like 12, like, oh, this looks cute. Um, I would use this color right here. This is the only color I would use when I was 12. That's it. And um, when I got to being like 15 or 16, I was like doing the um, mascara. And um, my mom let me choose either mascara or eyeliner. That was it. I couldn't have either or. I couldn't have both. I mean, either or. That's all I could have. And um, it sucked because everyone at my school already was already doing like, you know, the mascara and eyeliner and a little bit of color. And I was just like the loser, I felt like, because... Um, I could only wear mascara or a uh, liner and I felt like it wasn't enough but um you know once I got older and I got out of the house I um got emancipated when I was 17 due to some family you know things so I was emancipated when I was 17 and I got a job and um I just started looking at people and how they would do their makeup and stuff and they looked very very pretty and I was just like wow how do they mix the colors like that and then the only thing I had of makeup was this and um, some May Maybelline Mascara Black, I remember. And I used a little brush that would come in this. And these colors are beautiful if you know how to work them. Me, of course, I would only use this color right here. Which, let me swatch it for you. It's a very light, very light champagne peachy color. So that's it right there. And I would use this dark, beautiful brown right there and look how intense that brown is I would use those two colors together I would use the champagne all over my lid and then just buff in the brown but like, I didn't know what I was doing so it looked all bleh but um, I was still trying right so um, I got this um, when I was 12 because my mom only let me buy it because it was like three dollars and I had five dollars and she was like you know what it's your money get what you want I don't care so I was like okay I'm gonna get it so I was so glad I did because it helped me out when I was 17 because that's when I started messing with makeup so um I started messing around with it and then one time I remember putting green underneath my eyelid and I remember thinking like I was the bomb.com like ooh, like I felt like I was on fire so when I was at work and stuff I would um talk to this girl and like how did you do how did you do your makeup like how did you make it look like that and she was nice enough to tell me like oh sweetie you can do this and you can do that do you know about primer do you know about foundation do you know about concealer naming all these things and I was just like oh my god like are you serious people do that to their face look at me now right and I was like uh-huh uh-huh like I knew what she was talking about but in reality I was just like what the hell how am I gonna get all this that's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars like I didn't know anything so, I started, you know, watching YouTube videos and started getting, you know, um, um, looking at how people do their makeup. I started getting curious, and how do you do a smoky eye, and how do you do this, and what's the cheapest way, and this and that and that. So, I kind of want to do a video for you guys on what palettes you guys could buy that are affordable, and if you're barely starting out with it, or if you already, you know, have the money to get everything that you want, but you just want something simple that you can just put in your bag, and, you know, everyone has those days where they just need to run out the door, and they don't have nothing on their face, and they're just like, oh. And they look at themselves in the mirror and they're like, ugh, like, why did I leave the house without doing makeup? My makeup. And, um, I always kept this in my purse when I was working and I would always be like, I'm that type of person where it, if it's 6.30 and I wake up at 6.29, I hit that snooze button for that one minute and then I wake up, like, at 7 and I'm just like, shh, like, my fault. <coughs> so, I would always have this in my purse because I knew that I, um, <clears throat> could use these two colors together and it would look great after I sat there for hours it felt like and I just messed with it and all oh, this would look good with that and all kinds of stuff so anyways um once I started you know exp like experimenting with my face and my eyes and how I had like the cat um shaped eyes and I took a makeup class and I um spoke to people I watched people do makeup I have done so many things um and um 
yeah so that's how I learned I learned how my eyes would look better with this and what colors and I'm likely lucky enough to be able to pull off those bold colors that some people love and other people are like oh that's so cute I wish I could pull that off and I'm lucky enough to be like oh that's so cool like she's saying I can um so when I started makeup school I remember going in with a dark teal um uh, no a bright teal color on my lid and like blues and like blacks and it just looks so pretty I'm not trying to be cocky or anything but it looked really nice and everyone was just like wow you can pull off those colors and when I was 17 I didn't think I would ever be able to pull off those colors I would always watch these um, YouTube gurus that would do stuff like that and I was just like jelly you know but now that I know how to manipulate colors and like manipulate the brush and do all kinds of things I'm so glad I know how to and I kinda wanna share that with you guys there's some um, people that message me who are 15 and 16 saying hey Lex how do you um, you know blend these two colors together can you do a video for this can you just tell me in a message or can you do a video on cheap products because I don't have a lot of money I'm in school I'm barely experimenting with colors so I thought I would do this for you special people and for other people who just you know want to see what is cheap out there and what is good and what you can do and what is cheap because I never knew that there was cheap makeup that was good I never knew of elf until like two years ago and when I found it I got crazy I went on a shopping spring and got everything because before I didn't really have um, money I was really poor and I had two kids and it wasn't about it wasn't about what mommy wanted it was about what they need diapers wipes and kids are expensive I had two I had a two-year-old and a one-year-old and they were like twins and um, I was just you know going crazy and I'm working and how was I gonna do it and stuff and now um, I'm married and happily married and I have four babies and I know how since I'm old and I've matured a lot more I know how to you know put money away and save money and budget and this is a yes and this is a this is a need not a want and stuff like that you know um and this is a want not a need there you go and stuff like that so anyways sorry for talking so much um so this is the first eyeshadow palette I have ever had and I love it it is by Jane and it was three dollars and it's called earth tones I think this is a very very pretty palette for people to start off on and it's very pigmented so let me just finish um, swatching this is an egg white color very beautiful for a highlight and um, this is it right there very 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 gorgeous um, this is uh, a blue like um, a light aqua blue this is it look how pretty that is it's like a I should say like a blue silver aqua I don't know if there's even a color that's like that but that's it green when I was a bomb.com I thought I use that underneath my eyes. I don't know why I thought I was so cool. But there it is. It's more intense when you use concealer. But um, where I um, kept messing with it, if you like, you can build it. So that's why I thought it was cool. And this other color I used to use a lot too is this um, light champagne color. This is more champagne. This is more peachy. So my bad for mixing those up. So this is that one. Very, very pretty. And, and yeah, so this is my... That was, well, that used to be my go-to. Um, I just found it right now in oh, my makeup drawer. And I was just like, oh my god, I should do a video on um, my palette, my first palette. So yeah, I just had a little sponge brush. And um, I would just use that. And my fingertips, your fingers are your... Your fingers will help you with anything on your face. The foundation, everything. So I would always use that. Um, let's see... I just had it. Okay. Sorry, if you guys would see my desk right now, I have a mess. <coughs> this is another um, um, cheap uh, palette that you can get for a dollar. These are always at the dollar store. Um, I've never had problems not finding these. When I found this one, I was very excited because um, it just has more colors. And it has this brick red, which is so gorgeous to use. Um at the end of your eye and just blend colors in just to make things pop so pretty so these ones are very pigmented as well I'm not gonna swatch all of them but this is peach look how that one look how nice that one is this is a champagne color look how pretty the brick red of course we're gonna have to swatch look how pretty that is and um, we'll swatch the highlight look how pretty that is and and then I'm gonna swatch this brown right here 
very very pretty pretty brown and this is only a dollar and I always find it at the dollar store I always get it um, just to have backup because this can also just slip in your purse and you can never go wrong with these colors never so that's another one that I really love um, let's see here's the elf flawless eyeshadow and this is in beautiful browns I got this one for a dollar this one I would have to say is really really cool because it has a little sponge and a little mirror so you know when you're at work or if you're in the, the bathroom at work and you're supposedly going pee but you know you're on your phone or you know you're painting your makeup or fixing it because there's a cute boy or something or there's a hater and you want her to know that you got your sh on point you know what I mean just saying, everyone's been there. Deny it all you want, we know. Just kidding. But yeah, here's here's the color. Here's your highlight. Um, your um, light brown. This is a light brown. Um, gold brown. And your dark brown. And let's see, your highlight. I like scratched off the names. But here's the colors of those. And my first brush ever without um before I had the sponge no after I had the sponge and it got lost and thrown away and I stopped using my fingers um my little sister who is a little diva she had this little brush that she got from the dollar store I would use this sucker nonstop for my eyeshadow for right on my lid and to blend 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 and how to manipulate it and all kinds of stuff my favorite I love it so much but look I like destroyed it um, if you go look at my first video I'm using this and only this um, yeah so this was my first one it was very very pretty she found it at the dollar store and when I started looking at it like a couple years ago it says Avon I was like what I never knew I was using an Avon brush but yeah my favorite oh, oh, love that one excuse me and last but not least is the Maybelline Eye Studio, and this is called Give Me. Has these beautiful, beautiful colors. I lost the um, white shimmery um, um, eyeshadow, but that's okay. I still use these colors a lot. Um, this brown is very, very pretty and very pigmented. The gold is so pretty, and the um, well, this is like a bronzy gold. This is a bronzy gold, and this is a gold. So these are the colors right here. Let's see, can you guys see? Very, very, very pretty. And the payoff is great. I love this one. I like to just put the gold sometimes just in my um, uh, my inner eye. And it just makes things pop and look so pretty. And the dark brown, I go crazy with that when I do a smoky eye. I really buff it in at, um, at the end of my eye. It's so pretty. Um, eyeliners. I don't remember... Um, ever using a liquid eyeliner I would always use those ones from wet and wild or NYC that were at the dollar store and my you know how my mom told me I only can have either or um, at school I would um, steal it from my cousin and I would put it on top and all stuff like that and I try to wash it off at the end of the day but she knew and I got my ass whipped she knew um so yeah um I don't have I don't like using eye pencils now for my um, cat eye or um, in my um, waterline I just don't like it anymore I feel like when I put pencil it comes down right here under my bags and it just stays there and I don't even know sometimes and I'm like talking to people and they probably think I'm sick or something because I just have like a bunch of black right there so yeah I don't use that anymore um uh, recently a couple years ago I found the elf waterproof eyeliner pen and this one's only a dollar I found it at Target and this is the one that I've been using since a couple of years ago. Um, I go to it sometimes. Sometimes I use eyeliner. Sometimes I use other eyeliner that I purchased. But this is just a dollar, so I loved it. And look, look how, look at that. Just one swipe, Pff, done. One swipe, Pff, done. Pretty. And I love it how like it's really good for um, cat eye and stuff like that. I don't know. I love it. Where I've used it so much, look how the tip looks. Like I ruined the tip. Let's see if you can focus. You see the tip? Ruined! Because I'm going to use it every day. So yeah, that's just a little video on what um, palettes, little palettes that you can buy that are cheap. Just put in your purse and how I started off and stuff like that. little story, a little bit um, more about me. And yeah, uh, I didn't start using foundation until 
um the maybelline um three in one came out i think that's why i'm so obsessed with it because that was like my first foundation that actually fit me uh another funny story hopefully you guys aren't getting bored um i remember me and rudy were going to his um mom's christmas um gathering that they do rudy's family is all about you know spending time together and um i went to walmart and he's like you know what just get a foundation if you want one because i actually wanted to look like like good you know and he's like, get whatever one you want. And I'm like, babe, I don't know how to pick out foundation. Like, I'm serious. He's like, I don't even know why you want foundation. You don't even need it. And, you know, being a guy. And I'm like, okay. And I look at all these shades and it was, um, what was it? Remlin. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. It was Remlin and I got, like, the darkest shade ever. I remember putting it on and it looked like I had a tan, like, really bad. It was, like, dark, light. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And he's just looking at me, like, laughing. And I'm just like shut up because i put it on in the car i'm already ready driving there so i just rushed inside the house and i'm like hi hi guys hi like hiding my face because i don't know Rudy's mom has like three four sisters and when they start laughing they start laughing so of course i wanted to dodge them as soon as i could went to the restroom and start wiping all that um stuff off so when i um heard about the cover girl three in one um when i seen it and i was like matching it against my face i was like i think this is it and then when i tried it I was like, hallelujah, 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 because I was so happy, and I was just like, yes, I found a foundation, and it covered um, my freckles, I hate my freckles, and my husband's like, it doesn't matter, it looks cute on you, and you know how you just want to, like, cover those things, because you get sick of it from looking at it all the time, and I guess we're, I don't know, we're, your husband or boyfriend, you know, loves you for who you are, they really don't care, but you care, because I care, and yeah, so I just covered it up, and now I just feel like, yes, I found it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, enough with my story. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here. <laughs> I'm so sick. And if you like this little video and if it helped you guys out a lot, thumbs it up for me. And thanks you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time.